Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know who this is. It's Michael Bird, and I'm your host of ATB Hammered. Today, I have a very special episode of Hammered coming your way. I am reaching across the great pond on the Hammered Hotline, and I'm going to be talking to Raluca Ratu. Uh, She lives in Florence, Italy, and she has been going through the coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, a couple of weeks before we have, and she's going to give us a little insight on how life is in Italy right now. Uh, I hope you enjoy this interview. Uh, Don't forget like the video leave a comment good or bad i really don't give a shit just leave a comment and subscribe to the atb youtube channel all right sit back and enjoy this interview between myself and ralu do you think they have a cure over there now or something or i don't know um president trump said something to us about uh that they are in the process of working on one and they may have something, but it won't be ready until like April or the May or yeah, something like that. Everybody has a cure. Everybody yes. says that, you know? Oh my God. It's Cuba, like Cuba has a cure. Italy has a cure. Romania has a cure. Russia has a cure. Everybody <laughs> has a cure, you know, here. All I, all I hear every day is, we have we have found a cure here. We have found a, uh, this guy from Cuba found something really special that can cure people in in two days. What? And, wow, <laughs> that's that's something. <laughs> like you need to break that out because that's that's like a million. I mean, that, that would make somebody an instant billionaire if they found a cure for this. Thing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. But I think nobody has a cure now. No. That is impossible. The the fact that China has less uh, infects, infected people is because they really quarantined everybody. Oh yeah, and that's how you stop it. Yeah, you have to. You have to. And like people over here don't get that. They're like, oh, I want to go out and I want to have a party. I want to go to the bar. Why won't they open up stuff? Because, dumb asses, that's how you flatten the curve. That's how you stop it. Suck yeah. it up. I mean, you know, that's, that, that happened in Italy when, uh, when all this outbreak came to Italy. That were, uh, we had, like, first three cases. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was two Chinese people and one Romanian, I think. And everybody said that... Uh, uh, we we should use the hashtag Italy doesn't stop, okay? So they invited people to go embrace a Chinese or to go out and have fun because Italy doesn't stop. This happened two weeks ago, okay? Mm-hmm. And now all these numbers that are now from infected people, it's because of hashtag Italy doesn't stop. Mm. Nobody got that we had to stop. Mm. So we stopped very late. We stopped like uh, when we had first 4,000 cases. Yeah, 4,000. Wow. Yeah, we mm-hmm. stopped then. We, we, we said, okay, well, we're going to put the red zone, you know, in mm-hmm. Lombardy, in Veneto, or the north. Mm-hmm. Uh, Italy, we called it the red zone. So we said, no, we're going to quarantine only these people, you know, because the rest of Italy is okay. We have fewer cases, you know. Mm-hmm. All, of the, all of a sudden, when they said they're going to close down Milano, everybody from Milano went home in south of Italy. They, mm-hmm. they actually ran from Milano. They ran away. And they were all infected. And now they spread it down to South Italy. Oh. Exactly. So we had to declare Italy, the entire Italy, red zone because oh, of yeah. them. Yeah. That's why we are in this situation. The most important thing is to stay in, stay at mm-hmm. home, you know, just wait for a bit be calm you know don't panic don't go out and buy all the toilet paper <laughs> bought all the toilet paper can you believe that 
But all the toilet paper, all the hand sanitizer. Um, oh my God, what else did they buy? It's just it's crazy how it's going on here. Um, Do you still have food there? Uh, barely. Like all the chicken. <laughs> so you can find some beef. Um, chicken, every once in a while, you know, you can find some. But I'd need to go to the grocery store, to be honest with you. Uh, so, and you are, you live in, in and around Florence, Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so your president's about to come on, right? That's what you were saying. The president of Italy, yeah. he's going to give a press conference. Yes, it's, he's going to be on in about uh, 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. Uh, so you got to stay off Facebook and unfollow people because yeah, I've I seen know. so many people write stuff. They're, they don't educate themselves on shit. They just want to get up there and like keyboard, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to type this. I fucking hate, 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 stupid. Uh, you know. <laughs> I know. So, I know. Yeah. So, um, here too. so tell me, um, what, like, when did this start in Italy? Like, was it two months ago, one month ago? When did the government start this shutdown? And when did you say, oh, shit, this is serious? <laughs> well, uh, we said, oh, shit, this is serious uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Wow. Yeah. So and they shut long. everything down. Oh. So when was the first case diagnosed in Italy that you can remember? Uh, Mid-February. About mid-February? So, yeah. wow. I mean, that's really not too far ahead of us. Um, we just started this last week. So we're going on our second week. Uh, over, over... Actually, when, when everything started, you know, when, when the news that China has problems and uh, they need to go in lockdown, we had no cases. After about uh, uh, at the end of January, uh, we found uh, two cases that we solved right away, that were cured right away. So, and, and the third case, uh, it was somebody from a hotel where these two people went. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he was cured too. So, practically, we had all solved cases. We had no active cases, okay? How were they cured? I don't, like... Um, I think they didn't have it, actually. Yeah. I, th I think that it was only a flu or something like that. Uh -huh. uh, I, I don't know. I Actually, I don't know. I can't say from official information. I know this mm. or that. I have no idea how they cured, but they got cured. And uh, uh, in the, the next two to three weeks, we heard nothing about it. Mm-hmm all silent so we started with this hashtag italy doesn't stop uh, milano doesn't stop lombardy doesn't stop veneto doesn't stop all the regions had this hashtag and we had uh, in television there was this uh, commercial saying uh go out and hug a chinese you know just to be to be nice to the chinese i think because uh, in italy we had all this uh, rage burst, I call it, mm -hmm. because uh, of the Chinese and practically uh, we had cases where Italians beaten up the Chinese so, people. So this they kind started, of yeah. this kind of escalated like some racism or hatred towards yeah, Chinese people. Yeah, discrimination, yeah. yeah towards okay. We had uh, a few cases, more than a few cases mm -hmm. of racism. And uh, so th they started this campaign, Hug a Chinese, you know. So uh, in, in all the big cities, there was this Chinese downtown with this uh, card, this board saying Hug a Chinese and everybody went and hugged him, okay. Mm -hmm. But the idea is, it's not the fact that we went to Hug a Chinese. The idea is that we hugged ourselves, you know, because we are hot people, you know, we had blooded. Yeah. <laughs> we we need to kiss and hug, you know. Mm -hmm. So we had this commercial saying, "Go out and have a drink, and don't worry, and party, and go." We call it aperitivo, you know. Before dinner, we always go to have aperitivo. This means we go and have a drink mm -hmm. and have some snacks. And practically, we had all these things going. So uh, 
this happened like three three weeks ago. Yeah, we had this commercial going on. So everybody was out and partying and, you know, having a good time. And all of a sudden, we had the first 50 cases in uh, Lombardy, near Milan, not in Milan. Then we had some in uh, Codogno, that is uh, near Napoli. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, from there, uh, everything uh, just exploded. Wow. It didn't stop. It expo- it, 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 It's not even the, you know, there is the R0, you know, the mm-hmm. how much can multiply, you know, and how fast it can go spread to another. Uh, and practically, it, we had it not even R02. We had, we had an R0 like 16 because from 50, we went to 1,000. Then we went to, to 3,000. And wow. all of a sudden... We couldn't, we couldn't uh, control this, you know. Well, um, let me let me ask you this. And for those of you that are just now joined, I'm talking to uh, Raluca Ratu. She actually lives in Florence, Italy. Um, so, Ralu is a friend of mine. I have met online, and um, I thought I would just hit her up and see how things are going in Italy. Uh, so, let me ask you this: these cases, like you were saying, they doubled and tripled. Okay, um, is this, do you think, was it because of a lack of testing? Did you guys have um, limited testing available? Has the testing become more prevalent over there? or? Well, in the, from the beginning, we had no testing going on mm. at the airports, not even you know, the temperature control or these things going. So everybody who was coming through the airports of Italy had no control at all no tests at all. So we mm-hmm. we don't know, we didn't even find patient zero. We found yeah. patient one. Patient we one. Have no, uh, yeah, we have mm. no idea who patient zero was. Mm. So we had no, no testing going. Uh, since then, since the outburst come, came in, we are testing only uh, people that have symptoms. Uh-huh. This means we cannot test anybody that is afraid of having it or uh, has only a simple cold. Uh, you have to have all the symptoms to be tested. And we tested in the beginning, we tested only uh, the positive case and the people that were in contact with the positive case. Okay. We thought we would control it like this. We couldn't. We couldn't control it like this because patient one went to uh, a run, running contest, went to ev- everywhere in Italy. This guy went everywhere. Wow. So we don't know how many people uh, you can uh, infect, mm-hmm. uh, but... We it's supposed to be 16, but we have no idea. And the incubation period that's important. Mm-hmm. The incubation period to patient one it wasn't 16 or 14 days, it was 27 days. 27 days, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I heard the incubation period was five weeks which is a little more than 27 days. It's roughly 35 or something like that. You know, so it's pretty close. It's definitely more than five days because you can walk around with coronavirus for weeks and not know you have it, you know. Exactly, exactly, not showing the symptoms, yes. Uh, Ralu, let me ask you this. So when, when did the shelves in your grocery stores start to be emptied? Like, when did you realize, oh, my God, because I don't know how it is in Italy, but in the United States, when we have hurricanes, when we have any kind of natural disaster where we get warned ahead of time, people freak out and they go to the grocery stores and they buy all the bread and all the milk. Okay, usually (laughs) that's the only two things. But for this COVID-19 coronavirus scare, people are buying all the toilet paper. They're buying all the meats, all the potatoes, all the canned foods, all the ramen noodles, um, all the pasta, 
It's crazy. I've never seen anything like this. So what's happening over there right now? Well, uh, it, it is a very strange thing that happened in Italy. Uh, we ran out of masks and sanitizers. Uh, the first days we heard about the virus in China. Okay. So at the very, very beginning. Uh, when we had the, the first cases, everybody was like behaving normal. When we had the first 50 cases in Lombardy, at the minute you heard about it, there was no more food in the grocery stores. <laughs> Nothing. Zero. Nothing. No. Nothing. I went to buy food the second day I heard about it. I had to go to five supermarkets. I couldn't find anything. Mm. Wow. So I had to wait a week to go and find food. Now, as we are in lockdown, you can find food everywhere. So don't go buy food. Don't rush and uh, empty all the shelves because there is no need to, even if you are in lockdown, you will still find food and uh, medicines everywhere. So how is it, since you're on lockdown, since you're on quarantine, um, when you go out to buy food, uh, do you get looked at by the police or, you know what I'm, are you allowed? Is there like a curfew where you can, you have to be back in your homes by a certain hour if you're getting the food? No. No, there is no curfew. Uh, we have a special um, permit okay. that you can download from uh, the government website. Uh -huh. And uh, that we changed for three days. We had three different permits. That's another thing, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> the people who stocked up permits, they had to burn them <laughs> and make new ones. <laughs> oh, that sucks. But, <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Changing permits every day is not a good idea for those who want to do it in your country. Uh, yeah, we yeah, don't even have we, permits or anything yet. We haven't got to that will. point. You yeah. will have it. Don't <laughs> worry. Everybody has it now. Even Romania has it now. Oh, wow. And they, they have less less cases, cases than us. Uh, the idea is this. Uh, when you go out, you have to have this permit. For uh -huh. everything you do, you have to have a different permit. This means... If you do, uh, if you go to the grocery stores, you have to write on your permit, uh, I born uh, in uh, at the date that I go to the grocery stores to buy food. If you have to go to walk your dog, it, it is not mandatory, but you should have a permit for that too. If you go to work, you have to have a permit for that too. It's, it's, they don't stop you like, it's not that everybody's being checked, mm -hmm. but it happens to stop you. If you go on your bicycle, they will stop you and you get locked down. They, they actually arrest you if you go in the, <laughs> on your bicycle. You mm -hmm. cannot go, yeah, you cannot go uh, outside to have a walk, even if you are allowed to. You are allowed, because the law says that you are allowed to go out mm -hmm. uh, if you go out by yourself. You are not allowed to, 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 to stay with different people, you know, to have a group of people uh -huh. in your company. But you can go out by yourself. The idea is that here people, I don't know what happened to Italy, people are, are, are calling the police if they see somebody walking on the street. Oh, my God. They are calling the police, yes. And happened so that because of this, yeah, because of this, we cannot go out to uh, go to have a walk in the park because uh, tonight is going to be the new law that says that you can walk only uh, nearby your home. So uh, I already read the the laws, the new laws that the president is going to say now. Uh -huh. So I already read them. And uh, practically, now it says that you can only move near your house. Hmm. Before you could take the car and, you know, go to a forest or to the river or somewhere where there is nobody around. Now you cannot do that. Uh, you are not allowed to go to your second house. 
if you have a second house that it is in the mountains with nobody around, you cannot go and sit there. Mm. You cannot go uh, and do anything you did in your normal life, let's call it uh, before the lockdown. Uh-huh. All you can do is go and have uh, and buy food may- and medicines and cigarettes. They they left uh, the uh, cigarette stores open. Oh, yes. Italians, you guys got to have your cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> I don't smoke, but yes, uh, they have to have their cigarettes. Well, so, so like in the in the states, uh, one thing that would really cause anarchy and an uprising here is if they shut all the ABC stores down. That's the <laughs> liquor stores. Yes, if I know. We can't have our vodka. It's going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, here we we can have everything, you know, because uh, the only thing that didn't shut down is transportation. So uh, good transportation, you know, everybody can. Um, if if you're lucky enough to have an internet company, uh-huh. internet-based company that sells anything, you can still work. But the rest of, of us, you know, that have stores like physical stores of yeah. any other goods that are not food or medicines mm. have to close down. I was going to ask you, uh, I, you're in fashion, right? Yeah, I'm in fashion. I'm a fashion yeah. designer. A fashion. So how, are you, how's that working for you? You have stores you have to go to, right? Or can you do your work well, from I, home? I, the factory where I produce mm. my bag is actually closed because they cannot work in uh, they have to the they shut down everything that is not of primal need uh-huh. they say okay so our our factory is closed uh, i have only the warehouse available that i can go there by appointment and i can uh, go inside by wearing a mask and gloves. Uh, I have to stay away from that that person, like uh, two meters away from from them. Uh-huh. And I usually call before going there, you know, to prepare the the goods and everything. The idea is this: that even if I am open and I can still work, there is nobody to sell to, because yeah. in Italy or in I don't know if if in uh, in your country too but here we had this news that uh, the virus remains on uh, boxes and on materials for days hmm. and I, that I is not true yeah i don't think uh, that's true at all yeah i know but that killed all my all my customers yeah cuz they believe everything i don't know how the media is in italy but the media in the united states has a grip on a lot of these people in the country. The media drives so much of the negativity. Uh, I don't even know if the media is positive at all. <laughs> I, I, I really don't think. Even the sports media, damn it, they suck sometimes. <laughs> but my God, you got CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all of them. All of them, they all suck. They all just spew negativity towards one party or another and something like this that comes in like this coronavirus they capitalize on and it just this is why i don't listen to like a lot of people on facebook i'll unfollow them if they keep talking shit and i don't watch the news at all um i'm kind of forced to watch it at my job because my coworkers keep it on damn fox news but anyway i don't know it this definitely sucks and, um, I know. Yeah, there's a lot I, of a lot of uncertainty here, so it's nice to hear from somebody from another country. You know, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the fact is that in Italy uh, we have a lot of fake news going on on uh, Facebook, uh-huh. uh, like really weird things that I'm not I'm not going to tell you now because it doesn't even matter. But uh, all these things, you know, generate um, hate. Mm, yeah, it does. It generates a lot of hate. And we being locked in, we believe everything right now. That's the idea. We cannot go out. We can. We are uh, out of our normality. Mm-hmm. So we are actually going crazy here because 
you know, uh, this thing that you cannot even have a walk, it's not good for your, your health, for your immune system, it's not good. Uh, we feel like we are, uh, all our freedom is taken away. Yeah. Makes you feel like I, uh, you don't have it, your constitutional rights, right? Like you were saying exactly. earlier. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like a prisoner. Yeah. I actually feel like a prisoner. And this is not good for for my health, for everybody's health right now. We tried this thing, you know, to uh, sing uh, at the windows, to sing at the balconies, you mm -hmm. know, to have fun like this. Did you do it? Uh, yeah, we everybody did it. Yeah, I've, <laughs> everybody I've, seen, did it. I've seen the videos on Facebook. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everybody did until we had 500 deaths a day. Oh, yeah. Then, then that's a reality check. Stopped. Yeah. Then everybody stopped. But, uh, you know, I talk a lot with uh, on Skype, on WhatsApp, with a lot mm -hmm. of friends and family. Uh, and everybody says the same thing. We are all going crazy. Yeah. And you kind of wonder, though, is this craziness a price that we just have to pay for the future? For Like, is it worth it right now? Is this for our benefit? I, th I think it is. I don't know. I think that what's being done, these laws that are coming into effect for the United States anyway, I can only speak for the United States. I think it's all in our best interest because we are trying to stop the spread. And I know people hate being cooped up in their homes and, you know, being away from their friends. Uh, but, you know, you got to think there's a silver lining. People are having Skype parties. They're getting alcohol and drinking with their friends on Skype and just finding other avenues to do stuff. Um, this isn't going to last forever. It's going to be over. It might take a little <laughs> while, you know, but, um, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully it's going to be over, but when it's going to be over, we are not going back to what we were before. I agree with you. I think things are going to be, things are going to change. I don't know a lot. Um, but I do know this. The first party is going to be one hell of a party when everybody can get together and, <laughs> and party again. Um, <laughs> and some good things have come out of this. This is like the first time me and you've ever like really talked. Exactly, and, yes. Uh, I think we've been friends on Facebook for uh, maybe a year, half a year, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I can't wait to hear, um, you know, maybe your president has something good to say. Maybe it won't be anything negative. Who knows? No, he has nothing, nothing good to say. He's going to put more restrictive rules, and uh, mm. that's not good. But the idea about, uh, you know, saying that it is it good to, to do this? Is it good to be in quarantine? No. No. This is not the answer. This is not how you control a disease, a virus, an epidemic, a pandemic, whatever. No. You control it by doing tests to all the population. You don't go there and say, mm, let's see this region, 50, okay, we're going to wait. No, you do not wait. You test everybody. Testing everybody costs less than putting all the entire country in lockdown. Yeah. They didn't do it because they thought it's it's just something that it's normal. It has to do its its not natural course, and everything is gonna be fine. We have a few cases. We didn't have a few. We have more cases now than everybody in the world. We are dying. Mm. My people oh. is dying. That's the fact. Wow. I I would have to look up the numbers. I can actually do it right quick. Let me look it up. I, want I know these numbers by heart. <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, snap. Oh. Ooh. Well, I think logistically it seems like it might be a nightmare. Millions of tests. You got to have people that give those tests. And oh. So this is from CNN Health. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So there's like a graph. It's uh, as of March the 20th. Cases worldwide, 209,000. Uh, deaths, 8,778. And 
I wish it would let me zoom in on Italy, and it will not. I do not like this map. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. So, holy shit. Italy is dying. So, mainland China, and this is CNN. I'm going to give them a little bit of uh, uh, legitimacy here. Mainland China, 80,894 cases, 3,237 deaths. So Italy has a total of 35,713 with 2,978 deaths. Wow. That is not updated. We updated it at 6 p.m. And the number is like this. Total deaths is 4,032. Oh my God, that's like almost double from what CNN has right now. And active act, active cases because you know total cases are recovered and deads and you only active cases we have thirty seven thousand eight hundred and sixty. So the people dying in Italy is it mostly like senior citizens and what they're saying people with weakened systems like people with diabetes, people with cystic fibrosis, people with some type of illness, uh, like cancer survivors that went through chemotherapy? No, no. No? If, no, if you have uh, another type of pathology mm. and have the virus, you are more likely that you're going to die. So. You have more chances chances to die and not to recover. If you don't have any pathology, um, we have a media of 70% recovering and 30% dying if you have no pathology. Hmm. I do know I heard in the president's from the United States in Trump's press conference earlier that men are dying at twice more. the rate than women are. Yeah, yeah uh, that is true. Yeah, so something about a man's makeup that is weaker <laughs> against this uh, coronavirus. Well, yeah, I, I don't know what can be. I didn't look into that. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you are healthy or you have some pathology has nothing to do with you dying from coronavirus. Um, if you, It's all about your immune system, so you can not know of having any pathology and I don't know, your lungs may be weak, your heart may be weak, I don't know, mm -hmm. something like that. The idea is that it's not only senior citizens that are dying, it's young people that are dying. We have no kids dying, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the media, the uh, average age is uh, from 17 to 90. Mm, well, hey, if we were teenagers again <laughs> we wouldn't have shit to worry about <laughs> would we well yeah. at least i know my kids are safe uh but i don't know it, it, it it's the same here um we just hear a lot of cases of older uh older people uh dying and you know they're they're weaker of course and uh people with uh i guess as you say pathology like meaning exactly. yeah Meaning they're sick in some way, or this parts of their body are weaker than the average person's. I guess. Yeah, this kind of kind of sucks for all of us, no matter where you live. <laughs> what time I is know. it over there? It is uh, nine p.m. Nine p.m. Nine forty. So you're getting ready to start your Saturday here in a few. <laughs> yeah, in in quarantine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna paint the house or something. Look, I don't know what to look, do. It's Friday night, Ralu. You should have one of these in your hand, and you should be like tearing <laughs> it up right now. <laughs> I know, but I don't feel like drinking right now. I can uh, tell you, I uh, didn't drink not even one sip since everything started. Really? Wow. Yeah, I don't feel like doing it. I don't know, but one thing I know: all you have to do is to stay calm. Mm -hmm. Stay That's... calm and just believe in some type of hope, and not everything's lost, right? It's going to get no, better. It's not. it is. Quarantine yeah. is good for now. Yeah, but not in our numbers, but maybe in some other countries' numbers, it is. Being in quarantine or being um, assigned to working from home, it kind of gives you a lot of time to self-reflect, and oh, excuse me, and um do some stuff around the house you've been putting off for weeks 
Uh, I got a lot of stuff done today. I like did some cleaning in my garage and, you know, um, yeah, it gives you peace of mind. And then. Yeah, well, somehow you, you are discovering things that you didn't do for a long time. Yeah. I mean, I, I used to work 18 hours a day, so I had no time to sit in the house and do stuff. Mm -hmm. And now I'm discovering, you know, I don't know, cooking. <laughs> this is something I'm Wait, what's, discovering. What's cooking? <laughs> That's when you put stuff in the microwave, right? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm trying. I'm trying to replicate the recipes I see in TV. <laughs> That's uh, something I do now. But uh, I don't. You can just, you know, read the book. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. do stuff. Not stay on Facebook and on TV all day. No. You, you you discover things. I mean, things that are should should have been normal, but are not in our normal life. You know, yeah. that's true. Um, I, unfortunately, it seems like I'm on Facebook all the time because I run a group <laughs> here and um, I try to interact in the group and do stuff here, trying to make podcasts. And um, I had so much planned for this group uh, in March and April. And everything has just been canceled. It's just, this has been a nightmare. I mean, there's a bigger fish to fry, for lack of a better term. But this, what I'm missing out on, as far as my group, is, is a very small fraction of everything that has shut down here in Raleigh. So we all are going to have to search and figure out ways to come back when we are back to normal i guess um i mean hell we can't go to bars we can't go to restaurants and the restaurants that are open they close at five and then uh you have to get all restaurants are takeout only no matter what a restaurant it is yeah that's for your safety yeah, yeah it's good yeah it's good if they stay open like i went to go get some chinese yesterday from the chinese store down the road and they were closed i was like what the f are you fucking serious but I consider yourself lucky. I wish I could go to a restaurant, and I can't. You can't even have food delivered to you, can you? Uh, in this area, I don't because no restaurant is working. There are some areas in, in Milano and in, uh, in, in Veneto, too, that are open. And mm -hmm. for, you know, the, they cook for hospitals and uh, for people nearby. Mm hmm uh, one thing that may be useful to you if you happen to be in the same situation is um, to have everybody, you know, just make a post or something because mm -hmm. I don't think you can call everybody and make everybody uh, write their own activity, what they are doing, what they did before, what they are selling, you know, I, I mean, mm -hmm. for the people that have businesses. And for to gather up a list of people that are, are able to deliver stuff to your mm -hmm. home. Yeah, I believe we have something going like that in my groups. Um, I know I've shared posts from people that have businesses, like the the mom and pop stores, the you know like the small restaurants. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that are going to really need a lot of help. Like the the chain stores, chain restaurants, they're going to survive. They're going to find a way. But it's like all the small businesses. Um, we try to, you know, share their posts and let people know that, hey, they can still get stuff. So Yeah, try, try to help people. And uh, if I don't know if you have a, a, a subscription to, to a gym or something, mm -hmm. don't cancel your subscription because, yeah. you know, those people have nothing and it's, mm -hmm. it, they, won't have, they won't have money to live. Yeah in the next month so do not cancel your subscription so they can still eat you know because it's going to take a while since the government is going to help you uh, to us we were promised uh, 600 euros per month not for everybody but mm -hmm. for some people for some people yeah but this some people didn't receive it yet so i don't know how many people still have money to buy food 600 euros isn't even a lot. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, that's it's not like a lot at all. It's $730. How much? I'm sorry. 730 oh. something like that. It's not a lot. 
There's a rumor over here about people getting seven hundred dollars, but I I thought it was maybe it is a month. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's. Uh, yeah, you have to be very good with numbers to, to, to be able to live with that money. Yeah, I know. And guess I what? Know. That is not me. Not me. <laughs> you know what my dumb ass almost did yesterday? I almost bought a Camaro. And then I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I was like nope, I, it's pretty because I have a thing for red, red vehicles. So I have a red truck. I've got a little red car. And I've got like red everything. Look at my chair. It's even red. See it? I love it. I can see it. Yeah. So I saw this Camaro um, and it was red and I was like, I got to have it. So I went, I even took it home overnight and I was like, uh, yeah, this coronavirus thing is making me think crazy. So I ended up taking it back. I was like, I can't do this now. But <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you need to think of the good things now and think of stocking up money. Do not spend your money. People do not spend your money. Yeah. That right. is very important. Hoard it. Keep it in your banks if you got it. <laughs> some exactly. people told me that they were advised to take uh, some money out of the banks in case the banks shut down and you don't have access to your money. So, banks will never shut down. Yeah, no. I, I don't think that either. But hey, you know, who knows? You never know nowadays. My yeah. bank is still working. I just yeah. got an email from them. Yeah. Well, well, if it's working in Italy, I'm sure it's going to be working in the United States. <laughs> For sure they will. <laughs> Hey, Ralu, but the uh -huh. money. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, thanks for um, being on my show. It's called Hammered. Uh, thanks for sharing us an insight from Italy on the coronavirus and how it's affecting you guys. And maybe, you know, it sounds bad, uh, you know, but hopefully letting some people here in the United States hear what you're going through is going to give them some insight on, you know, the things to come. Uh, and maybe it won't get that bad here in the United States, especially with those numbers. I mean, over 4,000 deaths, that's wow. Um, but, hey, we wish you luck over there, and you stay in that apartment with them dogs. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, thank you for, for having me. Yeah, uh, well, what I didn't mention is that I'm locked down in my office. I couldn't go home. Oh, you're in the <laughs> office. Oh, so you get a lot of work done. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, no. I hope you have, like, uh, is your office set up like a, a home? Yeah, like an apartment, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. But I do sleep on the sofa. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. How far is your home from your office? 150 kilometers. I don't know in miles how, how much it is, but it's really far. Wow. Did you drive there, like, every day, or did you just stay in your office during your work, work week? I usually stay in the office two days and the rest I work from home, but uh, uh, the lockdown caught me here and I couldn't go home because you, you're not allowed to move to another region. Well, that absolutely sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I take, it, I take it in a positive way. Uh, I feel good about it. And yeah, I can still work. I can still do a lot of things that I like and it uh, doesn't matter. We've, it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Well, Ralu, I love your positive attitude on it. Uh, I wish more people here had that attitude, but, you know, everybody's scared. Everybody's, un, you know, it's uncertainty. It's uncertainty. I hate to say this because I've said this term so much, but we are in uncharted territory right now, and nobody seems to know what's going on. It's like we're in a movie. Like, this shit just jumped right out of a movie. <laughs> I know. But, it's a Hollywood scenario. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Well, look, um, thanks for joining us, Ralu. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Raluca Ratu uh, from Italy uh, has joined us today on ATB Hammered. And once again, thanks again and wish you good luck. And I will keep in touch with you. I'll need updates. I'm going to need updates of how things are going over there. And okay. um, I'll let you know how we're doing in the States.